Let's now take a look at the RSA and Vision technology for logging administrative and security related events within our virtual data center. We're going to log into the Envision console. It's an easy to use web based interface. First thing we're going to see are the, all the devices that are being represented within our data center that we've discovered and that we're currently connected to and currently accessing log information from. As you can see, there's a, a bunch of infrastructure from security servers to switches to routers, firewalls, etc. We're going to focus in on VMware related infrastructure, specifically VMware View. As you can see, I have the View Manager console open, and at this point, we're going to generate some security events. I'm going to create a pool of desktops, a link clone pool of desktops, associate them with a specific set of users, and I'm going to then view these events as they've been issued and created within the Envision console after we've created the desktop pool. We can go in and make any edits to the provisioning process as we go along the way. Uh, we're going to create three desktops and associate them with a desktop pool and a user community. We're going to use a gold image called XPSP3 and associate that with a snapshot that has a RSA DLP agent installed within it. We'll put it into our cluster and then associate it with a resource pool. We'll also give it a user data disk and store it on one of our desktop related data stores. And then once we complete, the desktops will start to be created. If we look at the entitlements, we first need to um, associate some users with these desktops in order for them to be allowed to use them. We're going to select this user, Brian, and add him to the entitlements as well as a generic user that we'll be um, using later on. And mind you, um, View Manager integrates with Active Directory, so we're actually pulling these users out of Active, Active Directory services. As you can see in the back end, the desktop sources are associated with a few desktops that are being currently created in the ESX layer. If we switch over to vCenter, we can see that these desktops are being provisioned and they're being associated with the current inventory within our vCenter and VMware vSphere environment. And now all these events occurring are being logged and monitored and they're going to be represented within the Envision console. Now that our desktops are available, we can start to use them. But first, let's look over at the Envision console and see what we've captured as, as well as um, many events that have occurred since the start of the demo. If we look in, we can see that these events are being populated in real time, and this filter has been set to look only at the VMware view related information. You can see that there's a number of events that have occurred since our last view into the console. Specifically, administrators gone off, created a desktop pool called ENGINXP, and associated a few desktops within that pool. We'll also see that we've entitled user Brian to be a part of that desktop pool. Now, we can also trigger other events, such as logons and log offs. So let's log into that virtual desktop, connect up, and then let's log off and see what the console captures. And once we've logged off, let's go back to the Envision console and take a look at those security related events. And again, this console is being populated in real time, and you can see my user logging off of his session and then ending that session. 